Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the SEC error unknown issuer on Mozilla Firefox. So if you're experiencing this error, I'm going to be going over how to hopefully resolve it pretty quickly. So we're going to just jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up our Mozilla Firefox web browser. And then up in the top URL address bar, what you want to type in is about and then you want to do a colon, type preferences, and then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Make sure you spell it right. If you don't spell it right, I can't guarantee it's going to take you to this page. This is a shortcut for opening up some additional settings for the Firefox web browser. So now that we're on this page, you want to left click on the security tab at the left side. Across from general, there should be an area that says exceptions. You want to left click on that. If there's anything here besides add-ons.mozilla.org and testpilot.firefox.com, you want to delete them. Otherwise, you can keep these both enabled. Anything else, you want to remove the site. And for logins, left click on exceptions. If there's anything listed here, you want to also delete them as well by clicking on it and then remove site or click remove all sites. Once you're done doing that, you want to head over to the advanced tab at the bottom left. Then you want to left click on the network tab and then you want to click on settings across from connection right here. At the bottom you want to left click on where it says automatic proxy configuration URL and then just click on OK. Now at the top right corner of our screen we want to open up the menu icon with the three horizontal lines and left click on it. And then you want to left click on the little question mark at the bottom of this window and then left click on troubleshooting information right here. Left click on the button that says Refresh Firefox underneath Give Firefox a Tune Up. Left click on that. Proceed to left click on Refresh Firefox right here. And this will take a moment, so just be patient. So it'll tell you the import complete, it'll tell you what was imported, and it will store your additional old information in a new folder down here. And now that we have Firefox up and ready to go, you can actually restore any windows and tabs you had open prior to refreshing Firefox, which I don't think is necessary in our case. But at this point, I'd recommend trying to access whatever sites you were having this issue with, and hopefully it's been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.